morning youtube mayhem bike here little am star nostalgia 50 update full auto 2020 model uh as you can see we're up to 452 kilometers on the old uh speedo i did install this new xoss g uh it's not really rippling it's just a video um it's showing the uh newest thing i got it also links to your phone anyway long story short there's that um I did an LED headlight in here, which was rippling a little bit with the stator situation. So I hardwired it into the DC line. So low beam is now on all the time when you turn the key on. And I wired it in. So at the moment it's going to the switch for the high beam. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the wire over for the high beam to work off the high beam switch. And then it'll all be normal. The only other mod I done to this basically was the tack. The mirrors because i didn't like the, the round big tall mirrors these are like slightly as you can see they're more curved outward and they like work really well with this i can actually see best my elbows but not so far out that it makes me look stupid uh, the honda decals um i did do it a 72 cc bbk on here that's the same 19 millimeter carb all i did was take it out to a 90 jet uh, i'm at sea level here in jersey i did have to uh lean it out using the uh, needle a little bit but uh basically you can probably get away with 88 jet here at sea level in jersey that's the uh, 72 cc bbk kit um no real issues i mean i left the bottom of the chain guard off because like i explained before i was having issues with where they interlock inside here they, they got a lock together and when i took off the back wheel to go have a change to that michelin i had an issue with it and basically i caught on the chain and basically bent that pretty bad on the bottom so i said you know let me just leave that one off this one will keep the rain from at least coming down on the chain um i did install a fuel filter i don't know why they don't have a fuel filter from the factory but since the fuel filter came with the carburetor i figured why not and uh you know you see that the muffin that actually came with this actually just fits in here so that works out good there's actually like a hair sliver of room here on the air filter to get it between where the old air filter tube came out of you can also run this with the factory air box Anyway, that's about it. The only thing I really want to do now would be probably the Michelin Pro on the front to give me a little more bite and uh, just a more solid feel of a better quality tire, more balanced. Um, other than that, like I said, LED headlight. I did the Honda signals and I installed LED bulbs just to make it brighter. Um, on this side, you'll see the only change on this side was basically the exhaust. I think that was like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's got three slip fits. I explained that in another video how that is installed. Just bolts right on, basically. These are two $12 bags I got from Walmart. Zip tied them on. You might want to be mindful of putting heavy stuff in that. Another zip tie up front here to keep it from riding into your tire. I put something heavy in there and started rubbing the tire. That's obviously not good. Um, I did a Honda tail light off eBay. It was like 15 bucks. Not a big deal. And I put the tw a 12 volt bulb in it that was out of the factory light. I mean, I like the look of it. I mean, basically, I did my LED taillights. So, I mean, that's the Amstar Nostalgia update. Uh, currently, no issues with it. Um, starts up on warm days without the uh, choking being on. Um, 452 kilometers on it. And again, I did the big bore kit not even maybe 40 or 50 kilometers ago. So, that's going fine. It's a 72cc big bore kit. But uh, I did reuse the uh, factory thing here but i did crinkle paint on this this was aluminum so i just wanted to paint it black to look like the factory this is the factory uh pipe i basically put this plug on here vacuum plug um that's it so that's the amstar nostalgia 50 and uh the thing starts up and runs and goes i added the gps speedo just to give me a little more accuracy because basically when I'm up near 50, I'm actually doing 40. It's like eight miles an hour off just for reference point, at least on my bike. So, Mayhem Bike, I'm starting Nostalgia 50, aka Honda CL70 clone, but in my case, it's a CL50. So, anyway, y'all have a good day. Mayhem Bike.